After last night in the Hunter Valley, I decided to stop off in Bondi Beach and have one last night out with my friends. This morning I woke up late and I've driven down to the ACT in the Australian Capital Territory to the city of Canberra. Tomorrow morning I'll be heading out to the cutting edge new developing wine region on the outskirts of the city to visit Mount Majura Vineyard with Frank Vandaloo, the winemaker. However, he's told me about a few aerial activities we got to go to tomorrow morning. There's one that I've always been pretty nervous to do, but I'm going to get up tomorrow and give it a shot. So it's no secret anymore, the activities of skydive. I'm pretty nervous, but now I know Frank has spent a couple days contemplating it, considering he's got a wife and kids, but he's going to buck up and give it a go. One thing I'm excited to see is that Canberra was once known as the Limestone Plains. Now this is something that will most definitely affect the structure of the wines that we're going to taste later, so I'm hoping I can see it from the air. I forgot about the time you said goodbye. And they still haven't thought about actually jumping <laughs> out of the plane. Except today. Probably get up there and be like, <laughs> go, George. <laughs> you'll just be, you'll have to push my tall gangly ass out of the plane in front of you. Um, How are you doing over there, Frank? All right. Well, I'm nervous. No, well, who would be nervous about jumping out of a plane? Not the sort of thing I normally do. Pretty unusual thing to set out on. It's going to be fun. Just about to take off and go skydiving for the first time in my life. Luckily, I've been too busy preparing it all with this production to know that I'm actually doing it. Are we good? Yeah. Yeah, as good as we can be. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a bit nervous, I'm a bit excited, but I'm probably not thinking about it at all Sorry, I until I start crying on my way out of the plane. Potentially. Peace. That's amazing. It's scary jumping out of the plane. <laughs> well done, brother. Yeah. Jumped out of an airplane <laughs> and lived. <laughs> oh, I think I got grass in my ass. Fudge. I'm not going to say what I was going to say just because that was pretty freaking crazy. I think when you're going up, I just had so much anxiety and I couldn't. Like, oh, I couldn't barely breathe. It was insane. It was nerve wracking. The door opens, and that's when you just can't believe you're doing it, and you just pretty much start screaming in your head. And then once you're falling, it's so fun and so crazy, and you just love it. You're like, ah, I'm just, yeah, having a bloody good time. Whew. Well, I'm glad the, the getting out of the plane bit was over quickly because that was the scary bit. And after that, the falling is fast, like really fast. Then just drifting down, get to admire the view. It's just gorgeous. Everything was beautiful. Yeah. Well, I'm ready to go check out Mount Missouri <gasps> Vineyard. Cool. See yeah. Love to show you around. That's it. awesome. Yeah. Cool. Daddy yeah. survived. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Otherwise, I would have been in trouble. <laughs> been in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> All, right. All right. Let's go.
Mount Majura Vineyard for us is all about the expression of place. We've, we've got a, a special little patch of dirt that was actually, the site for the vineyard was actually identified from a geology map and it was the unique characteristics of that site that we've always focused on and trying to get that sense of the, the ancient soils speaking to us through the wine, creating something with real personality and character. That's what we're all about. Mount Majura Vineyard is, is about the expression of its site. And I was actually working at a number of different vineyards in the region and this is the place that really excited me. This is where there was really good potential, we could plant more vines and the soils are just so interesting and unique. Here in the Canberra district the, the key varieties uh, across the whole region are Shiraz and Riesling and we love those varieties, they do really well here. But what we've discovered is that also some of the Spanish varieties, and particularly Tempranillo, we've found that Tempranillo really responds to where it is and produces something that's really exciting. So we're now pretty strongly focused on that as well as the Shiraz and Riesling. Even the finish though on that still the yeah, length of it pepper. still comes through. Yeah. Right? yeah, that was actually that was surprising. Well let's guess see where this comes from. Yeah. <laughs> what you find in this valley is there was volcanic activity made this volcanic rock that's really rich in iron. Of, so is that like the red? Yeah, the red all the soils. red colour in the soil. And in fact you can even get um, some of these little pebbles will pick up on a magnet. So there's there's that much iron in, in the rock that it uh, picks but up it just, on a magnet. The fault runs up this valley, so the limestone and the volcanics have all been shifted together. Okay. And um, so we create this unique little patch of soil. We've got this, um, this is... Let's um, crack into it and, uh, yeah. and see, um, see how she tastes and get a little taste of the ACT in Canberra. So what we see coming through in our Tempranillo is it's really showing the characteristics of the year. So every year is different. The cool years will give a lighter wine, the hot years will give a really rich wine. But you're seeing that character coming through and then the soil um, gives a distinct characteristic, so it's um, our Tempranillo has these grainy, sturdy tannins that I always associate with the soil. So the clay and the sand of your soils will really give the more lighter, aromatic style of wines, whereas the rocky and the hard limestone and volcanic soils will give the big red wines or a bit more sturdy reds like the exactly. Tempranillo. Especially in the, the structure of the tannins, you know, how fine and velvety is or how big and grainy it is. It's been really exciting being able to get out once again and go a bit crazy like I do in a wine region, this time even going skydiving. But most of all, I was really touched in getting to see a growing wine region. These are people who have gone out on a limb and they've discovered something new. And whether that's looking at it on a spot on a map and taking a risk at that or getting out and planting vines themselves and seeing how they go. For me, it's made me realize that I need to get out there and explore and discover some of Australia's and the world's top wine regions. I just realized that my journey isn't even halfway over. Bloody good afternoon getting down there with Matt and Greg and getting to go off and harvest some food in Kangaroo Island and doing it with a chef and a winemaker. It doesn't really get much better than that. And I got to get out and get into a bit of an adventure, so I loved it.